Hello and welcome to week two of the Online Course Design Academy. In week one, we looked at what online teaching was generally and what online course design looked like overall. In module two now, we will be building on that and starting to look at instructional design for your online course in more detail. Looking at the online course design process from start to end. How to write learning objectives and best practices for online courses. There will be three short presentations to watch. That is one of the best practices, to keep the presentation short so that students can watch them easily in one sitting. There are required readings for the week, and it will include one on the process of design and another that will be discussing what online course looks like and the importance of alignment. There will be some optional readings which dig deeper into writing objectives. Just like Module 1, you will get to choose from three discussion questions and post about them in the discussion board. Go ahead and open up those activities. You can focus on course alignment, key learning moments, or look for alternative taxonomies to Bloom's taxonomy for writing learning objectives. Your initial post is due on Thursday and your responses to your colleagues by Sunday. We will be starting the Academy project this week. In phase one, you will fill out the template with some basic information about the course you are designing. So let's take a look at that. Here's the course template that you will be using. And I've also included a design document exemplar. The template is here to guide you through the project. In phase one, you will fill out the template with some basic information about the course you are designing. Next, you will add your course learning objectives to the document. At this point, you may revise your learning objectives based on what you learned in the learning objective presentation. Next, there is a course timeline. Begin to think about how your course will be chunked up into more discrete pieces. Use the topics and schedule section to map out how your course will fit together. During this time, you are beginning to think about what your course will look like and what active learning module may be best for you. Finally, there is a module objective alignment table. Copy and paste your course learning objectives into the top. Then begin to write more specific learning objectives for each module. I know it can seem really overwhelming in this process, but focus on writing really good learning objectives for maybe just a few modules. Don't worry about all the learning objectives for all the modules. It's more important that you concentrate on writing really good ones. Finally, align your module level objectives with, with the course level objectives by clicking an X in the corresponding boxes. The Academy Project Exemplar demonstrates how the design document might look filled out during each phase. The rest of the template will be used for phase two and three. So you will submit your completed phase one this week, but hang on to the document for other phases where you will continue the design process for your course. Phase one is due on Sunday night. I hope you enjoy this week, last week's number one. And I thank everyone that took part in our online discussion that we had last Tuesday. I look forward to seeing much more of you in the discussion and keep those questions coming. Thank you everyone so much. We'll see you online.